guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, today is going to be a little something different. I'm not sure if there's going to be a figure hunt video, but this is going to be more of just showing you guys around Chicago um, about the certain place because I got things to do. So I might as well bring you guys along, help you guys see some beautiful scenery of what I'm going to do. Um, so there might be a figure hunt. I might combine this with the Kirishima and Spawn video. I'm not really sure. Um, I got the Kirishima. I'm waiting for Spawn to come out, so I might combine both of those. I mean, you might see a little mashup, so if, if I do do that, I'll let, definitely let you guys know. But hope you guys enjoy this one. Hey guys, so I went to my local GameStop. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this video. I'm probably going to merge it with something else uh, because unfortunately I only picked up one figure when I was in there. I'm probably going to merge it with my spawn video. That's supposed to, when I get the figure in. Uh, I put it on pre-order. It should be coming out with the next couple of days. As as of this recording. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm probably going to merge that with this. But, here is the McFarlane Toys Kirishima. So, I had to pick this one up. He, to me, he's pretty cool. I looked to see if they had the Chaco, but uh, unfortunately, they did it. I'm not sure if I want to pick up the Todoroki. Uh, i seen some pictures of him, and I'm not really that much of a fan. And plus, I kind of like the band Presto of him. Uh, I just like the face sculpt on that one better. So, I'm not really sure I'm going to pick him up. Um, but I had to pick up this Kirishima. I think he's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I'm definitely going to take out the arms and put in like the Rocky arms. You guys can kind of see it. Um, to me, I definitely want to do that. And then I'm going to put like the head on him. So it looks like he has his quirk. Um, so to me, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what's that thing going around his chest but i do like him he's a pretty cool character on my hero academia especially when his when he levels up on his quirk it's pretty cool so like i said i'm just gonna put the figures together so like i said by the time you guys by the, it's for you it's gonna be like a quick second and for me it's gonna be a couple of days to get the spawn figure in i'm not really I mean, I've been searching around for things, but there's not really nothing coming out right now. Um, I did pick up some of the, or I had the the guy, the employee, a uh, pretty cool dude. He's actually a subscriber now. Um, I did have him print out um, some of the newer figures that are coming out. Um, surprisingly, the Marvel Legends that got revealed at Toy Fair is coming out pretty soon as well. But that's till the end next month as of right now right uh the things that are coming out is more of the black widow wave from the mo new movie which comes out on this one it says 3 30th so they should be hitting stores pretty soon everything else kind of com coming out towards summer um a lot of them had no dates but i also did pre put in two pre-orders on the um McFarlane, Arkham Asylum, Batman, and Joker. So, um, I had to pre-order those things. Um, I still gonna pre-order. I, I have some pre-orders in Bit Bad as well. I put in the pre-orders for a couple of Mezco's. So and then there's still a lot of Mezco's figures I gotta pick up. I've been looking around. Uh, I've been watching people's YouTube videos. And I've seen figures that I've never even heard, seen before. And I've seen a lot of uh, companies I've never heard before. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that. Like, I've seen a couple cool Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, figures that I will definitely be on the lookout for. I got plans to hit up more uh, shops as well. So, um, especially in my city. So, I'm just going to look around, show you guys better glimpse. And even if I'm not showing off figures i'm just gonna be showing you guys around chicago like downtown lake you know uh, but right now it's still kind of cold you know so give me a few t a few time on it you know i don't want to be going to the lake when it's like 30 20 degrees outside but it is warming up i think uh the next couple of days 
I think one day is going to be 60 degrees, but it's going to feel like 30. So that's crazy. That's type of weather um, that's out here. So, uh, but like I said, I'm going to put the figures together. Be right back. Okay, guys. So I finally put the figure together and this is how he looks. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, he comes with two other equipable hands. The first two hands, which I took off, which are these, are the just the normal hands to go with. There's not really too much about it. Uh, he does come with these things look like they are grippable, but he doesn't have any other accessories to go with it. And then here is like the normal head or hair, hair piece, I guess you could call it. Uh, which is just, just normal. It's just hair and the ears or whatever. But like I said, I wanted to have him to where it looks like he have his, his quirk. So then here is him with the mask and then the, the arms. So they kind of look like bricks or whatever, because that's his quirk in the anime. If you guys watch the anime, you guys know who he is. Um, he, he actually has one of the coolest quirks in the, in the anime. Um, there's like there's a cool scene, uh, especially with the new season, in season four, where he fights a bad guy. I'm not gonna say all of it because if you haven't watched it, I don't want to spoil it. But there's a cool scene with him, just like getting showing off his quirk, and it, it's actually a pretty cool scene, badass um, action fight, and it's actually pretty cool. So then I like the the cape around him, and then and then the big R on his. Uh, on his uh, belt or whatever um it's pretty cool so like i said it's, he's more of a rock type his quirk um i like the boots that go with it, it stays true to the classic um, anime or whatever i'm not really sure why there's this thing going around his chest or whatever um i guess it's kind of like to grip the the two gears or whatever <laughs> to hold it in place i'm not really sure i don't remember that in the anime uh but that's pretty cool as well then he got the cool head sculpt got the eyes the eyes look pretty good as well the nose oh there's not really much to the nose or whatever but like i said it just fits the character as well um and then with the with this piece you know on the face on the the, the mask or whatever um, you can put it however, however you want it. I just have it going down like that because uh, it's just how you're supposed to do it. But if you want to mess around with it, you can. Um, that Everything was real good, easy to put together, in my opinion. Um, not really too much work, just the hands and the head. That's about it. But like I said, he also comes with... Uh, uh, in the set, it's actually Todoroki and... And Ochaka said so that this is probably like wave three because they have the uh, the All Might, the uh, Shigaraki, uh, Deku, um, I'm not really sure who else, uh, Bakugo. So I have the other McFarlane figure right here. I do love this Bakugo, you know, with the blast. The blasts are pretty cool as well. Um, I have shown them off in previous videos, so it's pretty cool. You know, I got the friends together. You could pose them together. That was, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I I think I might still pick up the Figmas um, because I, I feel like the Figma um, Good Smile does an amazing job when it comes to Figma. Um, I've watched a couple videos on the Deku. The Figma and it, that that figure looks amazing. I know Robo had it on his top figure for last year, his top figure of the year list. Um, I know there's a couple more, um, like uh, Bakugo has one. A Chaku got put up for pre order recently, so I might have to pick that one up as well. But they are on the pricier side, so. Um, definitely want to check those out. And then I'm, like I said, I'm still looking for the Persona Figma, uh, um, things. Uh, I just got to go on pre Big Bad Toy Store and pick them up. But uh, like I said, if you guys haven't heard, I, I like to buy things in bundles. So, um, 
that's going to be a lot of money if I buy all of them. And there's still a lot of them on pre-order as well. So I'm looking around approximately about $200 with the ones that are currently in stock. And that's not even including the pre-order because Figma's, if you don't know, run to about 70 to 80 bucks or higher. So um, they're not really cheap figures, but the detail on them is actually pretty amazing. So like I said, I'm I'm gonna hit up some some stores, some local comic shops, see if I could find some, get some deals. Probably if not, just gonna have to buy a bundle in Big Bad Toy Store. But like I said, um, I'm putting this video together. Okay, so in the first half of this video, this is where I had combined the videos together. So if you guys, this is right after I talked about Spawn, so that's why there's this quick edit. But um, but yeah, just going to now show you guys around what I was doing. So hope you guys enjoyed that part and everything else should line up together. At least I hope. So if it don't, you'll see another quick edit like this. Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but like I said, you guys are going to see a little something different. So I got to go to this building right here. But over there, if you guys could see, there's like a big white building. Um, uh, I grew up over there, so it's crazy. So I gotta come here for like a survey. But I grew up right here, uh, growing up as a kid. Um, this is probably like the north side of, Ch of Chicago. And kind of like Wicker Park, Bucktown, mixed with, yeah, Lincoln, Bucktown. I don't know what you call it. But if you go that way, that's downtown. Um, that way, there's a Barnes & Noble like all the way down there. But like I said, I grew up just on the other side of town. Right here is actually, you get like a water taxi and then go around the canal. It's actually pretty cool if you ask me. Um, like, look at that, you guys see this. That's pretty cool as well. You don't see that too often. Um, but, like I said, I gotta go to that building right there and do a survey. Uh, and then after that, I'm probably gonna go because there's like a Best Buy right here. So I'm probably gonna go to see if they got any Marvel Legends in there. Um, but I am gonna just walk around here and probably, uh, since I got some time, uh, probably uh, like I, I brought Taskmaster. So I'm probably gonna get some cool shots of some of some uh, figures I, that, that I brought with me. It's like a hill right here with some goose. <laughs> but other than that, like I said, um, I'm probably gonna get some cool shots. So if I do add them into the video, you guys will definitely see it. So another, cool. another thing where I like coming over here, cause you get a good shot of the skyline, you know, going to Chicago. You know, you got the Sears Tower right there. building i still call it the series i know it's like a thousand other uh, names for it but yeah this is kind of cool, so. okay guys so I just left um, the the survey thing. Like I said, it's actually pretty cool. You know, you taste, you sit there, you taste gum. Um, it's not really much to it. You just it's a survey about the gum, and then you give you they give you money. So why not? But they get they don't give you actual money. They give it to you in a card or whatever. So, but I I think it was funny because I think they were like too cautious or whatever. Because you know, there's that new virus going around. And I could definitely understand uh, why they were like that. But, like, they went kind of, like, too overboard with it. Um, <laughs> but, like I said, I could definitely understand why. But there's actually a Best Buy right here. So I'm probably going to go hit that up, see what I could find in there. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm going to find too much in there. But it don't help to, to look. so Or don't hurt to, to, to look. But um i was like really bored in there um like i said just a little extra money on the side probably enough to buy a figure or something so 
hopefully um find something best by so we'll be right back okay guys so i finally made it home so apparently i i was recording and i didn't even realize the whole time that my camera was actually pointing the other way so um <laughs> uh, so i don't even remember where i left off but i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna give a creep a quick recap if i left off right here um so I went into Best Buy, didn't have anything in there. And then I went into, uh, I did a record in there. And then I left and then I went to uh, my my local uh, Walgreens, which was packed, like packed to the fullest. I think, you know, cause there's a certain pandemic going around. So everybody's trying to get a lot of things or whatever so it was actually more packed like i couldn't believe it like the lines were going all the way back towards the photo area and um lucky for me you know i was looking around looking at some figures uh i was at the toy section which people were looking at me giving me the the cold eye or whatever so i i, I don't really care you know it's, it's it don't really hurt me you know but um you know, what can you say? But, like I said, they didn't have too many Marvel Legends in there. Uh, I didn't really record in there either. But there was one figure I did come across. Um, and like I said, so I had unboxed them already. But I did pick up the Bizarro. Um, actually, pretty cool. Here's the back of the box. So I do like this because he actually s sells his abilities. Now, even though it has its abilities, I wish it would have actually came with some of those cool accessories. That, uh, cause like, um, freeze vision or flame breath, like a, a cool effect would have been real cool with this. Um, but I do like this. I do like Bizarro. He's one of the cool villains in DC. But here is the actual figure. So, uh, before I even show that off, he, he comes with. A vest, an open, I guess, I'm just call it palm or whatever, open hands, uh, a necktie, and glasses. So, I'm not really going to use any of those accessories. Maybe the glasses, I'm not really sure. But, I, honestly, I only bought it just so I could have him face off against my Henry Cavill uh, Mesco Superman. So, that's, that's pretty cool. Other than that, I'm not really uh, kind of, I don't really care for anything else. But here he is right here. So he's actually, like I said, the face sculpt on this is not the best in the world. He is kind of like one of those older figures. Um, and they actually had like a lot of them there. So it must have been like a, they had like a palette or something. Uh, I didn't, like I was watching somebody's video. I forgot who it was. But I seen them inside their video. And I was like, that's a lot of bizarros. So I was like, let me hit up my Walgreens and when I was going home. And sure enough, there was like eight of them just sitting there. So like I said, the face scope isn't the best in the world. Uh, he also comes with this um, necklace that says Bizarro number one. I do like that because if you know Bizarro, he talks like that. I got you, Bizarro. <laughs> so um, I do like that as well. So he has like the classic Superman outfit and um i'm not i really I, i'm not sure i don't really know too much about bizarro besides um um uh there's the injustice game but that's that doesn't really tell much of his story in it i'm not really sure i don't really know too much about bizarro besides that he's like a a clone superman you know so bad guy superman so um Here's the back, just the cape, and then here is the the open thing of it. If you guys just want to see that, there's not really much to that besides his butt cheeks. Um, he is pretty flexible, so you can pull off some crazy poses like this. Um, like I said, he I don't know what you call this piece right here, but he, he is bendable. You can t rotate him around if you want. The head as well. Um... So the articulation is pretty good on him. Um, his arm can go all the way around if you really want to. So like you say, you could get some cool poses, some poses with him. Have him face off against some um, Superman figures. I uh, 
the only Superman figure I do have is the Henry Cavill Superman. So I can't wait to pose them together like they're fighting. That's going to be really cool. Uh, but right now, I hope you guys enjoying this. Now it's time to show off the spawn, baby. So if you guys hear any music in the background, can't do nothing about that. But um, I totally forgot yesterday that today uh, was the new releases for Emerald City Comic Con. So we about to go look around, see what we can find. Hopefully a lot of things are still in stock. I know Target had their releases, so I'm not really sure if there's going to be any Target online. It still says some of them are in are in stock, but you know how Target is. So we're just going to go see anyways. But um, I believe I got to hit up Target, GameStop, and maybe Hot Topic. I'm going to look in Walgreens, but I'm not really sure. Because Walgreens hasn't really said anything. So, nothing I can do about that. But we're going to just look around see what we can find. So, I hit up my Walgreens. My Walgreens had absolutely nothing in there. I showed the guy what the fuck a pop looks like. Because he was an older guy. He probably didn't have any idea what a fuck a pop looks like. So I showed it to him. I was like, hey, you guys supposed to have... I explained to him what Emerald City Comic Con was. So I told him, I was like, hey, you guys are supposed to have this um, this toy in, I guess. And he's like, uh, oh. he, he takes me to the section I literally just came from where I grabbed the pop to show him what the pop was. And he's like, that's all we got. I was like, do you have anything in the back? He's like, eh, I'm not really sure. I was like, just look at him like, are you not going to go check? <laughs> but I was like, you know what, sir? Forget about it. So I guess I got to hit up another Walgreens to see if they have that Gambit in there. But if I can't find the Gambit, I might as well just order the Entertainment Earth one. So that's about it. So like I said, we're going to hit up another. Uh, we're going to hit up the GameStop first and then make our way to Target. So, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I made it to the mall. So, like I said, we're going to hit up Target, GameStop, um, Hot Topic. Because they had to sell. So, let's see if they have them. And we'll be back. So, pulled the uh, He-Man. So, apparently, the Hot Topic only has uh, uh, 10 perfect sales. And I remind you, Hot Topic's been open since 9 o'clock or 10. I don't know what time it is, but he probably already gone. If he is gone, uh, I'm not just going to go back to Target. Because there's like an alien NECA um, figure that I might pick up. But hopefully you get some good luck at Hot Topic. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So uh, sorry for the headphones, but finally all wrapped up in hot topic um like i said target sold out they didn't have anything in there um i didn't go pick up the alien there's like 15 of them right there so i'll probably pick them up later i just don't need to do it right now uh it was crazy to even see NECA figures in there so maybe i should just go get it before they sold out but i'm just gonna hold off uh Let's see. My Hot Topic did have the perfect sell. They had a lot of them in there. So the GameStop guy basically lied. Because he said there was only like 10. But there was a lot in there. Um, I might hit up a Walgreens. I'm not really sure. I just I don't want to deal with Walgreens right now. But I'll just show you guys the haul when I get back to the house. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I finally made it back home. Um, like I said, my, my stores didn't really have too much. I didn't record in GameStop or Hot Topic. The only reason why I didn't record in GameStop because the clerk told me, because when I went in, you know, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, this is the one in my mall. I, I, I forgot his name, but um, he told me, he was like, um, I told him, I was like, man, they had so many of the He-Mans um pops and and he was like man uh he's like did you go to hot topic yet and i was like nah 
he's like, oh, man, you better hurry up because they only had like 10. So when I, I, I was like, you know what? Let me stop messing around because I was looking around at first. I was getting ready to record. And then he told me that. So I was like, let me stop messing around. So I hurried up, paid for it, and then ran straight to Hot Topic. But there was a ton of them, like, like a ton of perfect cells uh, in there. But I have a feeling those things are going to be snatched up real quick. Um, but like I said, so I went into that GameStop and picked up this He-Man Slime Pit. So pretty cool about this. Um, I do like this pop. This pop is super cool. Um... Uh, he's kind of like a green translucent. Um, I don't have too many um, He-Man Pops. The only one I do have... I only have one, actually. And that's the Battle Armor Skeletor, the Gemini um, exclusive, which is the metallic uh, um, Skeletor. But here, here's the back of this. Just give you guys a whole 360 shot. Uh, like I said, and then the, it also comes with Beastman, of course, He-Man with the Battle Armor, uh, the regular Battle Armor, Skeletor, Merman, Evil Lynn, Orko, and Stratos. So it's nice that Funko finally got the license back for him. He's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to take him out of the box just so you guys can get a better look at him. So here it is right here. Actually pretty sick if you ask me. Like I said, it's kind of like a green translucent color to him. Um, I do like um, the sword is a pretty nice addition. Then his chest. There's not really much to him besides that. But there it is again. To get a better look at it. Pretty cool pop if you ask me. Um, not too many times I take out... Uh, exclusive con pops out of their box unless i buy two but it's funko so i don't really care huh um i i was actually funny story is that i actually was not going planning on picking up any um emerald city comic con pops this time around i really wasn't um but i knew it for sure i wanted both for the masters of the universe pops and then I wanted the perfect cell, which I'm about to show off. And uh, what was, what else? I went to Walgreens looking for the Gambit. But I wasn't about to go to 10 Walgreens looking for Gambit. Especially when there's the better exclusive coming out with Entertainment Earth. Um, so I'm not even going to try with that. And um, I wanted Toad. Funny thing is that I had Toad. For some reason, it bumped me out. I'm not sure if Toad is still on the Funko Shop, but most likely he sold out. So it was crazy because uh, I don't know why, but every I have a habit with every time when I'm in the Funko Shop, I get to that stupid capture thing, and I it always fill those things out. And by the time I'm even finished, because you, you know you have to press like uh, side walk, uh, press crosswalks or street lights. And it always bumps me out, and I absolutely hate that so much. I hate when it does that. It, it happens to me every time. So, I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. Um, but, yeah. So, last but not least, from the Funko Pops, I picked up Dragon Ball Z Sale. Perfect sale. Um, he's actually a glow-in-the-dark. Um... I was at, when I was looking at it at first, I was like, Funko could have did a better job with the green on him. Um, I I almost actually put it back, but then I was like, Nah, I can't do it. So, so uh, here he is again. Take him on the box, but then when I actually look at it, he's actually pretty cool. Like I said, he has electricity going around him. Not too much different from the original one. Um, and the metallic one is pretty cool if you ask me. But this one's pretty cool as well. Like I said, he has the battle damage armor. Or whatever you call this. I mean, I don't know. That's not battle damage. What do you call it? 
electricity vaults. I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but it's pretty cool as well. So a pretty cool pop if you ask me. And then um, I think that's about it for Funko. So funny thing is, so before I don't even know why I should have started the video with that, but when I was in the first GameStop talking to my guy, uh, Christian. Uh, I think I talked about it earlier in the video, but let's get more in depth with it right now. So I uh, went in there because today was actually supposed to be the release date for the Spawn figure. And um, so I go in there. I was like, yo, we got the Spawns in. He's like, man, um, I should have told you yesterday, but they pushed Spawn back. And I was like, what? He said, like, yes, they delayed Spawn to April. And I'm like, oh, my God. That pissed me off right there. P completely pissed me off because I was so looking forward to getting that action figure. Um, especially, so, if you guys don't know, I was supposed to go to Final Combat. They delayed that completely. So, that didn't happen. So, uh, they didn't delay it. They canceled it. They, they still had it. But they, uh, nobody, there was no live audience. So they were supposed to issue refunds of like last week. Um, the, it, actually, uh, ECC, the day of ECC, which is today, was supposed to be the last day we were supposed to receive our refunds. I still haven't received anything yet. So I'm waiting for, for, the, for my refund. Um, and, and it sucks because I really wanted to go there, especially to get the spawn figure. And now, yeah, they we're going to have other figures at the booth. Or or they're supposed to have other figures there. So I couldn't, there's no way to get any a hold of anything right now. Um, I, I believe he's still at Walgreens, I mean Walmart. But I hate going to Walmart. Walmart never has anything. Uh, my Walmarts are pretty far from me anyways. I hate just hate going to Walmart, but I might have to go there and track them down. If not, I looked on Amazon for some reason. He wasn't listed on there. Uh, so I might have to just order him off the perfect, I don't know what I'm doing, waiting for Big Bad Toy Store. So I might have to just go on Big Bad and just purchase him on there. But kind of sucks, man. I still haven't got him yet. But in the first... GameStop, I actually, so th that's what I was getting towards, so I, uh, and the guy was, uh, the guy Christian, man, he's a real good guy, man, it's, it's my, my guy, so he, he, uh, took the hit on me, because if you cancel pre-orders, they take the hit off the points, because they try to make sure that you keep your pre-orders, so he told me that, man, and I felt bad, I didn't want to do it, but, you know, I was like, man, I could use that to spawn money and put it towards another figure. So that's what I did. So this figure right here, <laughs> the cyberpunk male version, yeah, was actually free, basically. Well, not free because I still paid, but I paid a long time ago. So basically, I just got him for my other money. And I still put money down on the spawn at... Uh, GameStop, so probably like in the future I could put it towards something else if I do pick it up somewhere else. But here he is right here. So it looks like he comes with a sword, looks like. Uh, a machine gun. And a pistol. So that's pretty cool as well. And you guys know I have the uh, uh, other uh, Johnny Silverhands. And then there was one I was definitely had to pick up. Was Ochaku Uraka from McFarlane. Uh, these these are both McFarlane figures, by the way. But um, I had to pick up the other one that goes with the set. They had the Todoroki. I wasn't really feeling the face on him, but I might pick him up just to have just an action figure for him. Or speaking of that, they had a finally they had a Figma in there. But oh my god, that thing was ninety five bucks. And don't get me wrong, I love Fatuba. And that's Persona 5. But, man, 95 bucks? That's just too steep. I know Figmas aren't cheap, but, God. Man, that was a lot. But, anyways, guys, so I'm going to put these things together. So, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I finally put them together. And then here is Ochako 
I do love that she actually came with a cool um, stand. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, he actually, it actually holds her pretty well. Um, I still have yet to put it like on a flat surface to see if she uh, holds up pretty good. Um, but actually, I just did it right now. She actually holds up pretty good as well. Um, there's kind of like no way. I do like the that it just slides right in. And then if you really don't want her to stand on there, she actually has another thing. Um, I guess another pin or whatever to to uh, keep her levitated on the floor or on the stand. But this is how I prefer to have it. She also comes with the... So this was the alternate head, just her with the, the mask. She just comes with a regular hair and then two, uh, two balled up fists. But I prefer her doing this because it's kind of like her quirk. So I got to get some like, um, not actual rocks, but probably like some, some toy rocks or whatever. It's actually, actually doing her gravity thing, which is pretty cool. And then here is the male version, cyberpunk guy. So he comes with this cool looking uh, P90 and then a pink sword. And it also comes with a pistol. So, but there's nowhere to actually put the pistol. And I'd rather have him with the sword and the P90 than holding the pistol. But I could use this pistol for another um, character I have. Maybe Johnny Silverhand, take the, the champagne bottle of his hand, have him holding a pistol and a guitar. So that that's pretty cool. Or I could just use uh, something else with something else. But this is actually him. He's actually pretty cool as well. As you can tell, he has the samurai jacket, just like Johnny Silverhand. He got the blue on the inside, which looks pretty cool. It actually gives this jacket pretty, um, uh, makes it stand out just a little bit more. I mean, the color on the inside isn't too well. Uh, he just got a normal black shirt, normal black pants or whatever. Um, you know, of course, a farling figure or just any figure in general nowadays. Um, they got the creaking. So the joints aren't too bad on here. Um, he can twirl his arm all the way around. Um, it's hard for him to bend, but you can do some pretty cool poses with him if you really want to. I, I do love the face scalp on him. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's pretty accurate. Not too bad if you actually look at the video game. So if you guys don't know, this is guys just a creative character. Uh, face model so this is actually not the character you play with it's just when you start up the game this is how the character looks and then you could customize the character however you want him to look but i like this because i like cyberpunk and he's actually pretty cool so i, I actually so when i was in checkout actually and when i was actually because like i said i didn't pay for it but technically i kind of did but I just switched over a uh, pre-order and put it towards him. So it was basically free. And um, so I uh, so apparently I actually either I did it or the, the cashier must have did it, whoever was working that day. But I, uh, uh, I, I pre-ordered the Katakos uh, instead of the actual action figures. So I don't know if that was my fault or their fault, but um, so <laughs> so no wonder why when he came in, he's like, man, why didn't you get the pre-order? He looked at it, he's like, oh, because you did the Kotaku version. And I was like, oh, but I switched it over to where, oh, no, I, I didn't do the the girl yet, but the only one I'm missing right now is the, the female version or... Yeah, that's what they're calling a female version, so that's what I'm going to call it. So, um, no offense to anybody out there, but that's what they called it. Not me. Don't shoot the messenger, you know. So, <laughs> um, but I believe that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I am combining this with my other video. Um, so, if you see me talk about Spawn, just forget about it. It's just I'm not, I don't have that figure yet, just yet. So, but once I get it in. I'm definitely going to show it off. But um, if you guys want me to do more videos like that, you know, because I got plans to do other videos regardless.
But if you want me to do other videos where me just roaming around Chicago, I mean, showing off like certain places, kind of like if you guys ever seen Big Dub, um, which I'm, I'm having a blast watching him um, because I know him from OG Geek and from Josh Pence videos, but I actually never clicked on his channel. And then recently I clicked on it because he had like a, a, a Big Dub episode uh, or Dub Life episode. So I actually clicked on it and I've been watching it nonstop. I'm kind of hooked on it. And um, I actually hit him up and tell him like, hey, I'm starting from your first episode. From the first episode that he did for Dub Life all the way up to now. And he actually responded. You know, he's a pretty cool guy. You know, most some YouTubers nowadays won't even respond to your message. Especially like some which I thought that were you know, pretty cool guys and I wanted to, you know, actually interact with them, you know, and a lot of those guys um, act like they're too busy for you or um, too stuck up nowadays. So, and then those guys got over thousands of uh, followers and subscribers. So I know, I understand you don't want to reply to every message, but if you're constantly on Instagram posting pictures and if I send you a message, man, the least you could do is respond, you know? But, you know, I'm not here to start any any drama with anybody. I'm just saying, um, you know, if, if I were to, if my channel was to grow big and somebody sends me a message, I would have no problem responding. I would never change. That's, that's the one thing I notice about YouTube nowadays is that um, when YouTubers get big and bigger and bigger, they, they start changing, you know. They forget who got them to where they are right now. Um, because if, without you guys, because at the end of the day, it's you guys who are getting them there. It's not because they got themselves there. You, everybody helped them out getting them to where they're at right now. Um, of course, they put in the hard work, you know, give you the content that you want to watch. But you guys are helping them get there. So a lot of YouTubers just forget about that, man. So don't be like that if you're a YouTuber. I don't care if you take offense to what I say, because honestly, I don't really care. I'm... You know, <laughs> but, you know, this, like I said, I'm not taking shots at anybody, but, you know, at, at, at be, um, what would you say? It? You know, be be respectful, you know, don't forget where you come from. Don't forget who got you to where you at, um, you know, just because, because uh, I see a, a, nowadays a lot of YouTubers who are uh, getting out of like the Funko game and they're crapping on the Funko game right now. And, you know, that to me, that brings me down. Uh, I'm not the type of guy who dislike videos because I know even if he's talking crap about something I like, um, I'm not going to dislike it because he put hard work into that video. So I'm not going to do that. But, <laughs> you know, I understand that there are people out there who instantly hit that dislike button because you might have triggered them in the past or you got sensitive to something they said and you did ban them right away even though it wasn't too bad i mean there don't get me wrong there's a lot of trolls out there i definitely understand that but I, you know maybe you gotta uh you know show some patience and maybe you know something came off pretty wrong the wrong way and you probably took it the wrong way and that person didn't mean it that way so you know don't be quick to hit that ban button you like i know you don't want no negativity in you guys' channels but relax <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i like when i do ufc videos i'm constantly getting dislikes on my videos because i always say things because i keep i you know if you guys know me i keep things to the heart you know i say something from the heart and i truly mean it so if i think a fighter lost you know they think that fighter won they instantly give me a dislike i'm not gonna go cry at night at the end of the night because they give me that dislike that, like that doesn't hurt my feelings but hey, um, anyways, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys later.